Are you ready to write code? The coding challenge. Nobody is that excited for this, but uh, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing another coding challenge. Uh, I did one where I built a to-do list app. Today I'm going to be building a real-time chat app. I've have I have a bunch of experience building Socket IO projects, so this should be a piece of cake. Hopefully, actually, I'm gonna. Now I'm over promising, but. All right, I'm building a chat app. Uh, I'm gonna start with screen recording. I'm putting the timer on. So let's do the stopwatch. We'll see how long this takes. And uh, ready, set, go. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is create, I'm in desktop, create React app uh, chat client. Um, and then I'm gonna go into desktop. I'm gonna say uh, chat server. CD chat server, npm init to initialize everything. Uh, I'm gonna need some things. I'm gonna need uh, express, I'm gonna need HTTP, and I'm gonna need sockets.io. Also, let's just might as well start getting in here. Let's move this to the middle though, please. Oh, it froze. Okay, we're, that's not good. Also, OBS close, and we're gonna be at a minute, and I'm wasting time, okay. So here's our chat server. Let's just open this up and start writing. How do you do this? How do you do this? How do you do this? Oh, we need a server file. No. So server.js we'll make. And to do this, what do you need first of all? You need uh, express, right? So we will just require express. Is the camera even on? Yes, the camera's recording. I just wasted time checking that, so don't count that towards my time. Uh, const app equals uh, um, an instance of express and then you need the port that we're gonna run it on 5000 and then we need to make sure that we don't mess up with the equals and then we need HTTP is equal to require HTTP and you can use the method create server I've created enough node servers to know how to do this and then we have IO is equal to require Uh, require sockets.io and you do HTTP wrapper HTTP and then you could set the port you listen to so dot listen on port and we'll do IO dot on connection that's how you do all socket instances and then you pass the socket you call that arrow function and then you can do whatever you want in here right so you can listen for messages so a message will be sent to the server and what will we do with that message? Well, when the message gets sent, we want to broadcast it to everyone but ourselves. So we just use the broadcast method dot emit uh, message. So we emit a message function and then uh, we'll just send the message. Okay, great. Uh, let's go into the React app. That's actually probably all set up. So let's see. Great, it looks like it's running. We don't have a message being displayed, but that's fine. So we have two almost at three minutes now. Uh, oh, and I messed up the server at the last second. Just top CD chat clients yarn start. So let's start up the app that we're gonna be working on here. Um, good thing React is nice, so we can just do this all in real time with the hot reload. Uh, class app extends eh, react.components. Okay, and then we'll use the render method to put this return in, because that's how you do it. And then we'll do the constructor with the super, with the braces, and then the super. And then this dot state will have messages. So this dot state will be equal to messages. And then we'll say, what do we do? Component did mount, did mount, lifecycle method. This is where we'll listen to socket IO. So we need to install Socket.io, so to do that we'll use yarn, and we will do yarn add socket.io client, because that's the library for the client side, and then we'll do import io from socket.io client. Um, we can remove the logo, and we can put in the life, in the component did mount, we'll say this dot socket is equal to io and then you would do what do you do what do you do localhost uh, 5000 is where we're running it on 
So I don't know if we have to do this. I mean, this is probably fine. It just be P. I don't know. Maybe like that. Okay, I have no idea. This dot socket will listen for messages. So on message, we will take the message and we will append it to our messages state. So we need to set that. Uh, we have messages state. So this is where we will do this dot set state and we'll do messages is equal to message uh, with the spread operator this dot state dot messages and then we'll do send message as a method and this will take event and then we'll do uh, const body will be equal to event dot target dot body um, if event oh god dude this is key code is equal to 13 meaning they pressed enter and the message exists then we will do the same thing in here um, and also we will do something else we will emit them okay this dot socket dot emit message and the phone is shutting off now on accident and now I'm just wasting more and more time um, we could say let message equal to body and then from will be equal to me. Or it can be a random string or something like that. This is a long one. Type is equal to text. Uh, we'll do um, placeholder is equal to enter a message. And what else do we need? On key up. That's because we'll press enter on it and we'll say this, that send message. And this is pretty much all we need to do this. Uh, okay. What's going on? Okay. And let's just restart the server. Um, let's restart this. Let's uh, open this up and restart this as well. And what's gonna happen is why are we doing this? Node server.js and um this Oh we don't map we didn't map them. See this is where I freaking messed up. Okay, god damn it. So close. We were doing good, but I mean, it's not like I have a timeline or anything. I, I, I keep focusing on things that aren't what I'm supposed to be focusing on. This dot state dot messages dot map uh, message. I mean, at this point, um, return, you know, uh, message dot body. Um, from uh, message dot from. So we could say set message, yeah, you know, something like that. Oh my god, it's not even working. There's no debugging output either. Like, come on, dude. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. I screwed myself over here, didn't I, huh? Oh, mate. It looks like, um, it looks like what happened is, I was pretty close, but it looks like there's something going on with the body of the message. Oh, dude, you know what it is? I put event.target.body, because I was going so fast. It's supposed to be event.target.value. Um, and then what we can do now is we can open up, um, localhost 3000 on another browser and you can you should be able to communicate what's up and on this side you get it because it hits the socket and that's why it's a real-time chat app it's a web socket type deal so it hits the web it hits the server basically i'll explain this really quick before i get off i'm depressed that i didn't get it because of one word and i couldn't figure it out but it was like seven minutes it would have been like seven minutes if i got it but whatever um, I have this React app and basically what happens is I just have an input and I'm sending these messages, right? I click, I have an input, I hit enter, it calls this method, it sends the message, it sends it to the WebSocket, which is shared between all 
of the s people that are running uh, localhost that anyone who's running the client app is on the same WebSocket connection right now. So when I communicate with someone, if, like if you were on it at the same time as me, like I could put this on Heroku and it would work, um, you would see these real-time messages and we'd be able to communicate in real time. You don't have to refresh your browser or anything. So you could see that they're like popping up. Uh, that's just what WebSockets are. That's what Socket.io does. It's pretty cool. I really like it. And um, I'm a little bummed that I, I I will call this challenge one uh, fail because of that one word, but it's all good. I got a little bit going here. Um, also, I didn't even get to style it or anything. There we go. A little bit better, but uh, still not that good. Anyway, that's uh that's a fail for me. You see that you get all these messages. Uh, but yeah, it's a cool little app. Um, too bad I failed. Let me know what you guys think about this challenge. Let me know if you guys have ideas for future challenges. Hopefully I don't fail the next one. But a cool little app. Maybe I could give a little Socket.io tutorial if anyone's interested. I think it's one of the like coolest things. Like WebSockets are really cool to make apps with. Um, and you could do a lot of stuff. You don't even need a database. So let me know what you guys think. I really appreciate you guys watching. Please like and subscribe. And um, that's the end. So, see you in the next video.